welcome Don Winter, Chair of the National Academy of Engineering. Thank you and good afternoon. Okay, much better. It is my honor as the NAE Chair to welcome all of you to our 2024 national meeting here in Irvine, California. Now this is the 60th anniversary of the NAE and we would like to take the opportunity to celebrate the many contributions that engineers and engineering have made to the world that we live in. While some of the contributions are front and center in today's public conversation, I will suggest that the depth and breadth of the role that engineering plays in the continuing evolution of our world is greatly underestimated. From a macro perspective, engineering is simply how 8 billion people can live on this earth. Engineering was the basis of much of the grain, otherwise known as the third agricultural revolution, that contributed to widespread poverty reduction and averted hunger, hunger for millions of people. Engineering also enabled the access to potable water that has been a principal factor in eliminating many forms of illness and pestilence. And engineering is the basis for the economic growth that underpins the quality of life that we all enjoy. I suspect that if you ask people what the most significant engineering accomplishment of recent times was, they would likely focus on new products such as cell phones or electric cars without noting the many additional roles that engineering plays in bringing such products to fruition. That long process starts, for example, with the engineering of means to extract and refine rare earth minerals that enable many critical components. It includes the engineering of new means of production, such as additive manufacturing, and the development of highly automated factories capable of safely and efficiently producing such new products as microelectronics and lithium batteries. And it includes a development and sustainment of the infrastructure needed to support complex supply chains and product distribution, as well as provide the energy and communication channels that enable such products to operate. Now, since we just had our joint meeting of the National Academy's councils, that's the governing bodies of the National Academies of Sciences, of engineering and of medicine, I will take this opportunity to add that much of the recent progress in the sciences and medicine has also been the result of engineering contributions. For example, the field of astrophysics is greatly benefiting from the six and a half meter James E. Webb Space Telescope operating a million miles away from our planet. And the field of surgery is benefiting from robotic assistance, such as the da Vinci surgical system. Now, some historians like to characterize different time periods by the techn technological changes that occurred during those periods. They would note the steam era occurring between the 18th and 19th centuries and the electronic and information ages starting in the mid 20th century and continuing today. Looking at the breadth of recent engineering accomplishments and their impact on society, however, I would prefer the term the engineering age for what is transpiring today. Now, I'd like to conclude my remarks by welcoming all the students here today into the engineering community. I found this to be a most satisfying and rewarding career, and I trust that you too will be pleased to call yourselves engineers. <laughs> 